We're going to demo my Pennsylvania Thunders. They come in three different pots. Walnut, walnut here, oak, and cherry. I'll play the oak first. Let you see what that sounds like. They all come with their uh, conditioners inside and full instructions on the back. Ready to play right out of the pot, uh, package. You don't need to do anything to them. All you got to do is get that striker about like that. Rest your hand here, and all you're going to do is just pivot your wrist. You're not going to move your hand. Just pivot your wrist back and forth. Very light strokes all you need on it. Want more volume? Just pick it up a little louder. Quiet it down. Just barely play it. You can purr with them. Cut with them. Slide down and cackle with them. Okay, that's the oak. Now I'm going to play the walnut. I'm using some different strikers here so you can hear the different sounds. That's a nice walnut pot. Same thing. You'll notice that um, the tips of my strikers, they have an angle on them. The purpose for that is it gives you more bite on your call. If you have a rounded striker, you're only going to hit certain spots. This works like a brake shoe on a car. If you have a brake shoe on a car that has a knife edge, it's going to slip. With a nice flat surface on a brake shoe, it's going to grab. That's what this is. This is going to grab from the edge to the point. That's where you're getting your whole surface on it. Same with the Pennsylvania Thunder Walnut. You just lay it on there. You want to go soft? Just go soft. Nice purrs. Flux. Use some cotton. I'm going to do a fly down cackle, just like a yelp, just like it there, and then pick up your rhythm. <clears throat> okay, that's the walnut. Now we're going to do the cherry. Cherries, uh, same as the walnut, the pots are all the same, just different wood. They all come under conditioner. I'm using a little different striker in the cherry so you can get a different sound. <laughs> you fly down a cackle with it, just leave your yelp and then pick up your rhythm. Okay, one more thing on all my wood pot calls and all my Corian calls, no matter what enticer you get, all you gotta do is rough up the back with a Scotch Bright, and they'll also play on the back. Get some whole different sound. See, and if you go to a lighter striker, it's gonna give you a different sound. can't tell you how many birds that hung up on me and I switched over to that back and they come marching in. That's about it on the Pennsylvania Thunder.